I've spent months perfecting my everything shower routine and now I have the ultimate one with the best hygiene hacks. An everything shower routine is when you get in the shower and you do absolutely everything. This is from body care to skin care to dental so let's get started and come with me in the shower. I currently have a hydration mask in my hair right now and so we are going to put that in a shower cap and start on my body. To start my cleansing routine I'm using a plant-based bar cleanser and a silicone loofah. I switched over to a silicone loofah because the fishnet ones hold in a lot of bacteria so this is way more hygienic. Using a good body scrub is an absolute must. This is important before every single shave so you reduce the chances of getting ingrown hairs and razor bumps. You don't need shaving cream to shave. You could just use a really moisturizing conditioner. Conditioner works as well as shaving cream and it'll leave your legs so soft and smooth. My favorite brush to detangle my hair is my Denman brush because it has lasted me a really long time and it's the only thing that really helps to detangle my really curly hair. The best advice I have for anyone who has super thick hair like me or if you have really long hair is to part your hair in the shower when you're doing it. It's gonna save so much time and your hair won't tangle as much. You'll see throughout my hair care routine that I constantly part my hair. This really helps with detangling. To keep my hair detangled, I braid it in sections and this is a really useful tip that seriously changed my life because I always felt like I was losing globs of hair whenever I would do it in the shower and now that I do this, it's like I'm retaining more hair and my hair detangles faster. Now that I'm done with my hair, this is the pajama set I put on. Isn't it the cutest? This is so cute. I got this from Target, I think. <laughs> so now I am going to do my skincare routine. I'm using the La Roche Posay's cleanser. Then I am going in with my Tretinoin and my anti-wrinkle cream. Tretinoin is what I use for anti-wrinkle properties and it helps to control my acne. I love the Eucerin cream because it's so thick and for someone with dry skin, it's something I really need. Whenever I have any dark spots or scars, I just use my Natanola and this is over the counter. This seriously changed my life. Now I'm not even scared of dark scars anymore because this will help me immediately. As somebody with eczema prone skin, this is my favorite moisturizing cream. And another hygiene tip I have for you guys is to moisturize on slightly damp skin. This will keep you moisturized all day long. So let's get ready to do our dental care. Honestly, don't do what I did in this video. Always do your dental before your skincare to prevent any acne around your mouth. So here's a hygiene hack that you're gonna be obsessed with. Put toothpaste on your floss before you floss your teeth. This will prevent cavities and make your teeth so white. Sometimes I see people with a yellow stain in between their teeth and this is the best way to get rid of that. This is my favorite mouthwash and I have tried so many. If you need to get rid of your bad breath and you want your breath to smell so good, you need this. So now I'm gonna put you on to my favorite fragrance tip. Get some Vaseline or if you have Aquaphor, that works too. Put some on your wrist and your other pulse points that you want your fragrance to stick on. Spray your body mist on this and you will smell good all day long. After an everything shower routine, I put braids into my hair just because it keeps my hair detangled and it lasts a really long time. One of the most important things to do when you're braiding your hair is to make sure you oil your ends and you oil your scalp. Almond oil is my absolute favorite just because it's very light on my hair and I also enjoy the smell of it. Sometimes I don't like the smell of other oils and this isn't too strong. I also mix rosemary oil in my almond oil so it's not just almond oil. I love putting rosemary oil in it because it helps my hair stay healthy and it also helps your hair grow.
Okay, you guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed this, please give me a like and comment down below what else you want to see.